During the pandemic, staying connected with people living in nursing homes and other forms of assisted living hasn't been easy. Dan Booth spoke to Representative Stan Lambert to discuss the plan Lambert and other public officials are working on to make it safe for families to visit their loved ones in health facilities and living centers. These families have just uh, been uh, disconnected for too long a period of time. To protect those who are highly vulnerable to the spread of the virus, visitation at assisted living facilities has been canceled for months. Representative Stan Lambert is working alongside other public officials to make it easier for families to stick together during these troubling times. I think we can implement a plan that is still safe, that still uh, um, make sure that we don't spread or, 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 or carry the virus into these facilities, but that we can do it in a very safe and responsible manner. And so that's something that I think we need to continue to work on. The in-person visitation plan proposed to the Health and Human Services Commission includes designating specific visiting areas, limiting the number of visits per day, and requiring family caregivers to provide negative COVID-19 test results. They don't understand the virtual and they don't understand FaceTime. They don't know why they're not getting access and, and getting a chance to uh, uh, to visit with their loved ones. Representative Lambert says it's important to place an emphasis on mental health, especially when it comes to patients living with memory difficulties and mental deficiencies. These patients and these residents that uh, are dealing with dementia, with Alzheimer's, uh, they need that kind of, of holistic approach. It's not just about the physical, it's also about the emotional and the mental capacity. With hospitals being overwhelmed with the increase in cases, some nursing homes have been using their resources to address the needs of COVID patients. As long as they have the guidelines in place as far as social distancing, as far as wearing masks, as far as making sure that there's not going to be a spread of the virus within these facilities, I think we can give them uh, the, uh, the opportunity to do that. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Dan Booth. Thank you, Dan. You can find more information on Representative Lambert's plan on our website, BigCountryHomePage.com.